from Hudson, Wisconsin. The ball is placed on the Texas 26. First down, 10 to go for the Horns, who are down 10 to nothing. And they have not been able to move so far this afternoon. Notre Dame with a four-man front, three deep secondary. There's a hole at left guard. And Burleson runs the counter play to the 30 to his own 32-yard line. The Paniak, the defensive right halfback, a 195-pound sophomore on the tackle. Jim Achilles with a good downfield block, an engineering major from Spring Branch. Spring Branch, Texas. The ball on the 33 of the University of Texas. Seven on that one. That's just about his season average. Here is Coy from right half, outside left guard on a power play over the 35 to the 37. That's the famed inside belly for Texas. It's good for a first down. Bob Olson on the tackle, aided by Ralph Stepaniak. Bob Olson has the Notre Dame career record for total tackles. That's assisted and unassisted. 364 tackles over a three-year span. 142 tackles. Bob Olson from Superior, Wisconsin, whose thunderous tackles have been his trademark at Notre Dame. Here's the snap to Street. Drop back pass. He chucks. It is complete to fire on the 47-yard line. On a curl, he is jumped at the 46 of Notre Dame. Street hitting Spire. Spire was 10th in Southwest Conference receiving this year with 30 catches. He was brought down by Clarence Ellis, who is covering him man-to-man -man this afternoon. Ellis broke up 13 six-yard line. First and ten for Texas, which trails ten to nothing with a minute 40 gone of the second period. They're in a wide backfield. Here's the outside option with Street keeping. He turns the corner and goes inside the 45 to the 43 of the Irish. James Street on the carry. He was the outstanding offensive player here in last year's Cotton Bowl game. He is knocked down by John Ratterman, the sophomore from Cincinnati, who contemplates a career in medicine. The ball on the Notre Dame 43-yard line. Second down coming for Texas, seven yards to go. The full bunch, Mitchell Achilles, Dean McKay, and Spire. Spire split it right into the wide side of the field with the flanker outside him. Street looking to pass, pumps one. Now he releases to Peschel, a leaping catch at the 29. He is nailed and dumped on the Notre Dame 27. Peschel fielding one from James Street and Larry Schumacher, an inside linebacker for the Irish, made the tackle. But Texas has a first down, and now the Texas offense has been ignited, and they have first and 10 on the Notre Dame 27 yard line. Schumacher, a senior from East 100 in passing, total of 36 yards through the air this afternoon. First and 10, Texas on the Irish 47. Irish with the four-man front. Texas with an option. Picks the Burleson on the 30. He's on the 25. Breaks it back to the 22. He's on the 20. He's on the 15. He's on the 10. And he's out of bounds on the nine-yard line of Notre Dame. The Pontiac knocks him out of bounds. Burleson on the option pitch. That's the same triple option. He took it and went to the outside. Picked up a magnificent junction block from Ted Boy downfield. He won from 19 yards to the Notre Dame 10-yard line. Achilles with a good downfield drop for the University of Texas. And with a dozen minutes remaining in the first half, Texas is threatening first down and goal to go at the 10-yard line of... Wishbone T backfield, split left end. Counter play to the right halfback, Coy, over right guard inside the 10, and he runs to the 7-yard line. Kadish and McCoy banging to the Bermuda at the Notre Dame 7. It'll be second down goal to go for Texas on the Irish 7-yard line. to the line, second and goal, the Notre Dame seven. And there's a pitch to Burleson following the blocker run right in. He's on the five, he is on the two, he is on the one and out of bounds at the one yard line of Notre Dame. Wooster was blocking for Burleson on a pitch sweep to the right side and Gasser, the safety man, saved the day for Notre Dame at the one yard line. And to be very precise, the nose of the ball is just one foot away from Royal Soil. Texas has it third down and goal to go at the Notre Dame one-foot line. 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Right into the Notre Dame defense. Driving with the handoff is Ferguson, and he scores for the University of Texas. going over left guard, knows that ball in through the end zone. And Texas has six points on the board now with a tie for point to come. Wigginson will hold, Donnie Wigginson, and Happy Feller will attempt the extra point. He has kicked 43 for 45 this year, a new Southwest Conference record. The teams are ready. Here are the signals, the staff. It's on the tee, it's on the way, but there is a flag. There is a flag. It appeared to be good. A flag was thrown. And 
And there will be a penalty against Texas. Again, the try for extra point. Again, it's on the tee. It's on the way, and it's on the board. And it's Notre Dame 10, Texas 7. Timeout is called on the field with a score. The Irish 10, the Longhorns 7. Texas ready to kick off to Notre Dame, receiving at the north goal to our left. The score 10 to 7 in favor of Notre Dame. Happy Feller kicks it along the far sideline. Taken on the run at the 15-yard line by Allen. He is up to the 20, the 25, spilled at the Notre Dame 27. Happy Feller kicking off for the University of Texas. Seems to be pretty good, and we have bright sunshine. Our eye to the right side for Notre Dame with a right end split. There is a quarterback sneak by Feisman to his own 30-yard line. He annexed three yards on that one, the communication arts major from South River, New Jersey. Six feet tall, a 170-pound junior letterman, who ranks seventh on Notre Dame's all-time passing list and sixth in career total offense at Notre Dame. Joe Parrish six touchdowns this year. It'll be second and seven now for Notre Dame. They're on 30-yard line. And going over right tackle is Andy Huff. And Greg Pletz comes up to beat him at the Notre Dame 33-yard line. Andy Huff, who had run for 265 yards, he has a brother who will be playing in the Rose Bowl this afternoon for Michigan. Gary Koss with a good block, junior from Minneapolis. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Notre Dame ahead 10-7. to seven. They set two running backs behind the tackles. Blanket to the right, a split left end. Texas with an even front. Four men in the front trenches. Heisman back to pass, a hard rush. Screen off to the left to the 30. To Huff, he breaks the tackle to the 34. Caught at the 36, wrestled down at the Notre Dame 37-yard line. And that may be close to a first down. David Arledge put a hard rush on Weissman. Forced him to release the ball. Henderson made the tackle. The nose the ball is just inside the Notre Dame 37. It is shy of a first down by about half a yard. As they bring the ball in from the far sideline, it's placed about the 36 and a half of Notre Dame. And Diarietta comes in from Splinterville for Notre Dame to do Fort Arthur, Texas. Goes way back downfield to about his 15. It's a bad kick off the right side of the foot, landing at the, the uh, 48-yard line of Texas, kicking around like a nine-iron shot and dying on the Texas 46-yard line. Jim Yoder actually killed it down there. That was only 16 yards on the punt by Diarietta. It was a foul ball sliced off the right side of the foot. And so Texas takes over at its own 46-yard line. Street has the snap, gives it on the counter play to Bertelson, left half over left guard, and he dances to the midfield strike. Jim Bertelson on the carry, knocked down by Stepaniak and Swinson. 